today's message, let's stand on our feet one more time. We're going to read the word. And you guys can sit down and listen to what the Lord has given you. We're coming from John 20. Stay with me on, on, the, on, the, on the dream music there if you could, Casey. That's the anointed one I call him. John 20, 24 and 29. 21st board, 24th verse. But Thomas, one of the 12, he's talking about disciples, was not with them when Jesus came. Verse 25. The other disciples therefore said unto him, we have seen the Lord. But he said unto them, except I see in his hands the print of the nails and put my finger into the print of the nails and thrust my hands into his side, I would not believe. 26. And after eight days, again, his disciples were with him, and Thomas was with them. Then Jesus came to the door, being shut. That means he walked in, he just appeared, the door was already shut. And stood in the midst and said, Peace be unto you. Verse 27. Then, then said he to Thomas, Reach hither thy finger, and behold my hand and reach hither thy hand, and thrust it into my side, and be not faithless, but believing. And Thomas answered and said unto him, My Lord and my God. Jesus responds to him and says, Je says Jesus says unto him, Thomas, because thou hast seen me, thou hast believed. Blessed are they that have not seen me, and yet have believed. You may be seated. Father, we thank you, God. We give you all the honor, all the praise. We thank you, Father, that I decrease, that you may increase, Father. Lord, Father, we, Lord, Father, bind up every spirit of distraction, Father, every demon that would try to cause people, Lord, Father, stomachs to twist, Lord, Father, to be scared to tell them to get out of here, Father, before they get delivered, before they get set free, Father. I bind up, Lord, Father, every spirit of distraction that would try to cause you to think about their jobs, their, their finances, their, their, their marriages, whatever's broken in their life, God. I command the voice of the enemy to be silent, Father that they may hear the words of the living God. We thank you, Father, even now, Lord Father. We adore you. We amaze at your glory, Father, at your presence, Father. Thank you for coming to, Lord Father, be with us once again, Lord Father. As we, Lord Father, speak these messages, Lord Father, let them hear, let them understand, let them, Lord Father, Lord Father, get deliverance from this, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Anybody got their notes? We're, we're the two unsanitary to bring notes today. Today's message is faith versus feelings. Faith versus feelings. What's today's message? Let me see if y'all paying attention. Faith versus feelings. God gave me this message. Because um, the truth of the matter, anybody's feelings been going crazy? Huh? Uncontrollable emotions, just kind of out the blue. Anybody? Listen, you ain't got to. Listen, everybody, I don't want to be the first one to look crazy. Let me throw my hands up. Me, too. Listen, I, I told you guys last week, this has probably been one of the most testing years that I've ever had as a minister in, in God. When I'm, I'm hearing the enemy's voice trying to tell me I'm not an apostle, you failed at this. You. Anybody hearing this voice? Is God going to really be able to save you? Uh, are you hearing me? You see, faith versus feelings is, God began to speak to me and he says, this is why my church is in the shape that it's in now. Because too many people try to get acquainted with God through their feelings. Yes. Okay. <laughs> because he had a feeling right there. <laughs> Try to get acquainted with God through their feelings. This is what it boils down to. Let me put it this way. I see. I gotta. I gotta try to be like. I feel a spirit of boldness coming on me. So I gotta. I gotta be like the prophet now and make sure my words don't harm anybody. Cause I, I, I had, listen. I typed a text yesterday on Group Me, and I really I erased a lot of stuff. I said, No, that's going. That's gonna hurt somebody's feelings right there. You ever had to do that before? Delete some stuff. Nah, that's gonna. 
Uh, I mean, that may run a couple of people away from the church if I say that. But I felt the spirit of boldness on me to tell you to grow up. Mm -hmm. Are you, you hearing me? Mm -hmm. It's time to grow up. And I really had a, a rebuke from God to this week. Because of all the stuff, you, you guys know crazy things that's been happening, all the stuff that we have with family members. And I begin to try to talk to God. And I begin trying to understand. I'm not going to go too far. But listen to me. What? Too many people try to get acquainted with God through their feelings. And so when we feel good, we think God heard, heard our prayers. Anybody? When we have a good day, we feel that God heard our But when we don't have a good day, we feel like God don't hear our prayers. Right. Uh, anybody? Uh-oh. Right. Uh, if we don't feel good, it's like God... Uh, where are you? Anybody felt that? God, where are you? For the last two weeks, I've been feeling that. God, where are you? Even though God prophesied through me, even though God, God, where are you? God, I can't quite feel where you're at. I, it's in the house. Uh, I'll strengthen myself. I can't quite feel you, God. Where are you? Father, when I need to an answer the most, swear, I put my feelers out mm -hmm. to begin to try to feel for God. Mm -hmm. Anybody? Yes. And I can't find them. I can't find them. God, it's like you're not even speaking to me anymore. Mm -hmm. But I was reminded of a verse where the Bible says, I withdrew from the king. I gave him all the favor. I gave him everything they wanted, but I withdrew from them to see where his heart would be at. To see what he believes if I don't talk to him. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. Come on. Uh-oh. Are you getting this? Yes. And so our faith has become based on our feelings where it should be based on God's word. Yes, Lord. And God began to speak to me very boldly. As you can see in the scripture, Thomas was, I call it a, a Thomas faith. I won't believe it unless I see it, God. See, all the disciples that told him, listen, we just saw Jesus. You had eight people. You had, listen, 11 people telling you we just saw Jesus. Right. He turns around and says, I won't believe it until I put my fingers into the scars. Until I, I don't believe nothing y'all say. Uh-oh. Some of y'all, somebody done told it all about yourself. And you, listen, five people done told you your birth thing. I don't believe nothing y'all saying up in here. <laughs> I, I ain't receiving nothing y'all saying. My Lord. There's an old adage. If one person tell you your breath stink, ignore it. If two people, you might want to just just yes. think about it. Yes. If three people tell you, you might want to turn your back and go. Right. <laughs> if three people tell you the same thing, there might be some truth to it. Are you hearing me? Listen, let me say hello to my beautiful daughter, Marquise. Stay in the house, y'all. Good to see you, my... Yeah, I'm going to bust you slap out. You know we bust folks slap out with love up in here. I'm so happy to see you. God's going to restore you today. As if you never missed a day. I hear the Lord say. As if you never missed a day. Listen to me. God has sent some cold-blooded prophecies through us. I mean anointing. And yet... When I'm in a place where I can't feel, I've never been, anybody been in a place where, I, I've been, the last two weeks I've been in a place where I've never felt this before. Are you hearing me? And because I never felt it before, my flesh equates it as God is not real. Are you hearing me? Anybody else? I know if it's attacking the head, it's attacking the body. I already know that. And so many times I have to tell the enemy, I, I summon your voice, I shut your That's voice. Right. That's right. I shut your mouth and I, I don't, I don't, I, listen, just like, listen, Satan, or the Lord rebukes you, I, I, I refuse your accusations yes. against God. Come on. And to be truthful in the matter, as I was praying, I heard God ask me this question. Are you mad at God? Anybody? Are you mad at God? 
Because everything in me says, no, I'm not going to have to do God. I say it with my mouth, but yet my flesh, Come my on. feelings. Come on now. Uh-oh. That's real. That's Anybody? Real. That's real. My feelings said, yes, you are mad at God. Because he didn't come through the way you thought he was. Are you hearing me? Yes. You believed so much, you prophesied, you spoke this, and he was left looking like a fool. You believe with all your heart that God said this, but yet, the opposite happened. You believe with all your heart that Lazarus wasn't going to die, but yet he died. Kevin okay, told you it was already my message. <laughs> Jesus just said it wasn't to death, but yet he died. Did you hear what Jesus said? His response: Listen, it's not for this is for the glory of God. It's not to death, That's but right. he died. That's right. Are you hearing me? This is stuff that, that that will puzzle a person. God, you just said it wasn't to death, but Jesus, he just died. Mm. I'm preaching to myself. I don't need no audience. Y'all go home. Preaching good. <laughs> I'm preaching to myself up again. And so Thomas was the ones that didn't believe. Have you seen that? I, got, I have to see it to believe it. One of those Christians. Anybody? If I don't see it, I won't believe it. And God began to speak to me even about our jobs, even about why many of us haven't got our promotions yet. It's because you're waiting for a feeling of acceptance. You're waiting for a feeling that you're Valued. Jesus. Are you hearing me? You're waiting for a feeling that I'm going to be promoted. You're waiting for a feeling, and God says, I don't operate by feelings. Come on now. Are you hearing me? Yes. He said, I never told you that you could move a mountain with your feelings. I told you you could move it with faith. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> I never told you anything about feelings, son. I told you to move the mountains with your faith. I'm preaching to somebody in here. Speak, Lord. And so I begin to get rebuked by God. Yes. Because he says, listen, the reason why you haven't heard from me, son, and I thank God that he talked to me. He says, because you're trying to connect through your feelings to me. You're trying to talk to me through your feelings. And I can't relate with anything but the truth. Because your feelings are false. Uh -oh. Your feelings are a false emotion that you're feeling right now. And I cannot speak to anything. There's no lie in me. There's only truth inside of me. Jesus. And I can't connect with anything that's false, son. Mm. I can't connect with anything that's not of me. Mm. Uh -oh. I feel my help coming today. Thank you, Lord. So yeah. okay. For a purpose in my heart to do the will of the Lord, no matter what. Yes, Lord. No matter what I'm feeling, are you hearing yes. me? Because the truth of the matter is I didn't feel like it today. I didn't feel like praying last week. Come on, sir. I didn't feel like reading my word last week. You know what? I didn't even feel like preparing a message. But yet I'm here. And you know God didn't even give me this message until Friday evening. Because I didn't feel like it. I didn't feel like hearing from God. I didn't, my flesh didn't feel like he heard me, God. My flesh didn't feel like you came about me. Oh my God. Woo, Jesus. I'm talking to somebody in here. Mm. Because God, my flesh feels like this is too much. Come on, sir. But yet my spirit man says you can hold on. Mm. I've never put anything on you then once you can bear. I've never done yes. something. Yes. I'll never allow more than you can bear upon you. Yes. So cool about this, my kid. Look at your neighbor and say, that's good news. Good news. Because God says, I'm going to cast the demons out of your emotions today. Because yes, God said, that's what the enemy has attacked you at your emotions. Thank you. And I had to call the spirit of grief to get off me. Yes. I command you to let me, to get out of me. Yes. <laughs> Just feeling depressed for no reason. I'm just feeling like God, you're not here. I'm by myself. I'm... Yeah. 
And so I speak that the spirit of grief must come out of my people. Yes, Lord. Jesus. The spirit of depression must come out of your emotions today. Thank you, Father. You see, Thomas relied on what he could touch, not what God said. Keep in mind, Jesus had told them all that I'm coming back. I'm going to die. I'm going to be raised in three days. Yet when there's evidence of it, I don't believe you. I don't believe you, God, until you show me. I don't believe you, God, until I can feel you. Give me something to feel, Father. But God says, I never told you to feel, son. I told you to have faith. You see, faith is not popular. Faith don't make you feel good at times. Faith to believe that no evil will befall me. And no plague will come near my door. You cannot have my children. You cannot have my home. You cannot have my business. You cannot have my... I speak to you in faith that you would not touch me. You would not touch our church. your neighbor says just for a season but God says I withdrew myself to see what you're going to do yes. it's just for a season yes. thank you Father it's just for a season but God I'm going to see if you're going to stand on my word this time son see last time I gave you what you wanted and that, that's what helped you through but this time I'm going to see if you're going to believe me when you don't see it I'm going to see when it doesn't feel good to you you're going to really hold on to my word Thank you, Father. Thank you, God. If our faith is based upon feelings, then we are just using natural human faith. Are you hearing me? That's right. And that's why we get let down so much, because we keep using our natural faith that God never told us to. He never told us to. There's no way in the world that we can get spiritual results using a natural means. Listen, God says, natural medicine can heal you. But when I heal you, I speak to the spirit and it transforms the natural. Are you hearing me? And because we live in a natural world, let's take an example. When we get ready to go across the street, our eyes tell us two cars are coming to stay. Wait till those cars go and now it's safe to go. See, we try to do the same thing with God though. We can't use natural means to understand what God is doing. We can't use natural means That's right. to understand why God allowed this. See, we try to comprehend it, and what happens is, son, because you kept trying to comprehend, and I and I didn't I didn't speak to your natural man. You begin to get upset with God because I don't have an answer, God. You can at least answer me of why, God. Come on, now. come on, somebody. Come on. Come you can at least answer me why. Come on. And when I'm left without a reasoning to my feelings, oh God, y'all better come on. And I'm left with a reasoning that I can't understand my feelings and I, I'm not comprehending this, God. I'm upset with you. Mm. Yet, I'm saying to myself, I'm not upset with you, God. I don't, right. don't want to be upset with you, Father, but yet my flesh is upset. Right. It's upset. If our faith is based on the Word of God, then we believe the Word regardless of the evidence. Are you hearing me? Yes. That will satisfy our physical presence, our physical being. See, we want, we want evidence that's going to satisfy our physical knowing. When God says, try this relationship, this is the relationship with God. I don't feel. I don't feel like this is going to work out, God. I don't feel like it. And God showed me the enemy has set a trap to his church because of the, we use our feelings. Even the church. Uh, it was a very popular reminded of a very popular story very proper Christian uh, pastor and a woman that was actually needing healing and she came up to the prayer line he laid hands on her and when he laid hands on her she said I didn't receive it yet pray again second time he prays for her she says I didn't receive it yet pray again third time he lays a hand on I didn't receive it yet to pray again. He says he turns around and asks her, what are you 
don't receive that you are healed. Her response was, when I'm healed. Are you hearing me? Why do you need to believe that you're healed when you're already healed? You seem like you would know that you're healed if you're already healed. But God requires that you believe that you're healed before you are. Are you hearing me? Yes. She said, when I get healed is when I'll believe. I start believing that I'm healed. Are you seeing that? That's the world's faith. Yeah. When are you going to start believing that I'm already healed before I see the evidence of it? Oh, come on, y'all. I'm preaching to somebody up in here. If I'm preaching it to myself. And so she kept telling him to pray. But she would not receive her healing because she didn't believe that she was healed. Are you hearing me? This is the reason why I said on group me. Listen. Don't believe, listen, the lies of this world. But but listen, on group me, listen, stay at home if you don't believe because you, you actually hinder the presence of God. That's right. Are you hearing me? You hinder the presence of God in this place. You want, you want scripture or proof? And Jesus could do little miracles because they did not believe yep. in his hometown. Oh, that's a carpenter right there. That's G Oh, that's that's Joseph's son. That's yeah, I, I know them from back in the Y'all got some family members like that, don't you? And you know that that's gonna challenge you when you get in front of them to be able to be the you that God calls you to be because you're gonna be looking at them because you don't want them to think something else about you. Are you hearing me? Me and my brother used to always laugh, especially with black folks. I can't just call it like it is. Don't forget where you came from. Why would I want to remember? Translation, don't forget me. Pull me up with you. Why would I want to remember where I came from? Black folks. Yeah, listen, I promise you, we're not racist up in here. I promise you. We got, we got, some, we got some Caucasian members. They just ain't show up today. But. Listen, my, my best friend was white. I grew up with, with I, so I didn't see color. I didn't see color. Never did. I, I really didn't understand color until I came out here. I started seeing people treat people differently. There's some color, but I didn't see color back when I, grew, I grew up. Listen, it was all the same. Same way here. Demons don't see colors either. Are you here? We cast demons out of, out of Caucasians, whites, Chinese, you name it. Anybody get anything out of this? Let's lift our hands in the air. God tells me to decree, even the, the viewers are viewing this, that I speak this, the anointing of God shall hit you. For I command every demonic force, every demon within your emotions that attach you, I command you to come out of their emotions now. I command you to lose their emotions now that they can think clearly. We thank you, Father, for your deliverance, God. We praise you. We magnify you, Father. You see, the authority of God doesn't mean you have to be in the place, but I can, the Bible says, I sent the anointing. Are you? And they were healed. I sent the, come with me, Jesus, come with me. No, I send, I'll send the anointing and they'll be made whole. Because of your faith, I send the... Y'all can sit on the way home from church. Stop looking for a feeling. You see, the enemy wants a war. He gonna get war. Now you hear me? Y'all ever hear the sailing wet? What do you get when you lose the bull? You get all the bull. You don't get a part of it. You get all the bull. That's a country saying. You lose the bull, you're going to get all of it. It's not going to give you 25% of it. You see, the enemy had to lose the apostle inside of me. He's going to get all the apostle inside hey, of me. Come on. Are you hey, come on. It's going to get all every bit of it. Thank you, Father. You see, for I know who I am. And I know who I am in God. And so you can't steal my family. You can't steal my... You can't play with my emotions. You can't play with my feelings. Are you hearing me? For I know who I am in God. Think about that. Why in the world would you need to believe? Why would you need to have faith if, you're, if, if the only time you're going to believe is when you're healed? Right. That's not faith. That's right. That's a feeling That's you're right. looking for. That's right. It's a feeling you're looking for. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Amen. A 
again, I said God's healing is, is spiritual. Uh, they got medical science, right? It's healing is through the physical. They even got Christian science. It's healing is through the mind. You know, y'all see any mind healers, y'all? I believe mind healing, I can heal you through my mind. I, can, I can understand that. Some people need to be healed through the mind. But when God heals, he heals through the spirit. Are you hearing me? Yes. And so we always look for a feeling of God, did you heal me? God, did you did you do what I what I what I said? Do I feel like you did it, God? Let's look at 2 Corinthians 5, 17. It says, therefore, if any man be in Christ Jesus, he is a new creature. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things become new. This new birth is a rebirth of the human spirit. Jesus is not talking about your natural flesh. Are you hearing me? In other words, your spirit becomes new. Uh, a person can't tell just by looking that you became new in Christ. Are you hearing me? Over time, the natural man will start lining up what God did in the spirit. Are you hearing me? Uh, it become obvious over time. Uh, and I begin to I begin to even, even ask God, why do some people get changed, God? Why some people don't? Prophesy to people. It's accurate. It's Listen, they begin to cry. They begin to scream. They begin to... But they only had a, a feeling of me. They, I allowed them to feel me. Are you hearing me? That's right. I allowed them to feel my presence. I allowed them, yes. to, but that's all left. That was yes. it. They had a feeling, yes. so they go back. Yes. And they look for another feeling afterwards. Come on. Come on. How you hear me? Come we live in a, in a generation where I want a feeling. I'm, you unfaithful generation. You should I always have to give you signs. Preach, you hear me? Preach. I need a feeling, God, to know that you're there. Mm. Oh, I don't believe that you gave me your power, God. Mm. I don't believe that you're with me, God. I don't feel like you are. Thank you, Father. Do you know I've cast some demons out, some of the greatest demons, when I didn't feel like it? Did you know that? When I didn't feel like God was with me that day, I cast some of the greatest demons out of it. The power of God had hit me so strong when I didn't feel like it. Yes. Are you hearing me? Yes. Thank you, Father. Yes. Preach it to myself. Oh, God. Good, sir. Thank you, Father. So this explains why people can come to the altar and have a an emotional moment of feeling with God and walk right out I changed change for you see feelings only gonna change you for about 30 minutes right right until you see the man that turns you on then that's another feeling okay. uh -oh. Until you see the hamburger that you're driving by that's another feeling <laughs> you see this world is full of feelings it's full of feelings Oh, they're putting the chicken salad chick right there. It's a feeling. I can remember the last time I ate the, the sandwich. It's a good feeling. Are you hearing me? You see, we, we live in a, a emotions where we listen, a, a world where we want feelings all the time. We want to yes. feel like we appreciate it on the job. Yes. But God says, listen, promotion doesn't come from the north, the south, the east, the west, but it comes from me. See, but you're looking for a feeling from a man, and God says, do what I say do, and I'll promote you. Yes. Have my arm lost its power that I cannot see? Have my eyes blind that I cannot see where you are? Do you think I need help getting the boss to notice you? Oh, my God. Y'all better come over here. Do you think you need help? I need help finding the job that I said you was going to get. Oh, my God. And then it also, on the other hand, it, it explains why you got, you got people, I, I use Antoine. Josh, should I say? I know I called you Antoine. I use Josh. You look like an Antoine, Josh. <laughs> Your head is shaped like an Antoine, I'm sorry. I use Josh. When I, we first prophesied to him, his motions was... See, you see, I didn't know if he believed what we were saying or not. But yet the evidence of it was, oh Lord, God, I, show me what the application is. Show me what the membership application is. I got, listen, I'm, I'm at church in China until I listen. I can't, I can't do it no more. Listen, God has spoken to me today. Listen, there was an immediate change in him. Same thing with KC. We prophesied to him. Listen, I was calling out all types of stuff. KC was just looking at me like, 
didn't shake his head not one time. Just I don't think he even removed the eyebrow. I guess that's his excited look they say. It was a smile. Listen, didn't blink an eye at me. I'm like, am I saying anything right to this dude? But afterwards, he began to talk to D. Yeah, man, he called this out on me. He might have been embarrassed by it at the moment. He called maybe two months later, you see? Then not immediately. But see, I didn't know if the words I was saying to him was even penetrating. But yet, the next week, Casey used to have these long dreads. All of a sudden, his dreads were cut off. Are you hearing me? All of a sudden, he went to the barber and said, I don't want this no more. This is. This puts lust on me. I have a lot of women come after me because of this hair. I want it off of me. I want what God wants for me. I want, I want what, how you see him? Immediate change. Are you hearing me? While some of us looking for feelings, so we don't want to take our nose ring God. We don't want to fight with God. We want to we fight when God says, take, cut the hair off. Right? The enemy try to put lust on you because hey, I want to fight God. But I, I took five years to grow this God. I, but what's wrong with you? Everybody else got him. Are you hearing me? Cause this don't feel good. Are you hearing me? Immediate change. And so I'm asking God, why do I see so many immediate, so less immediate change, God? But then we prophesy so accurately to people when they cry. They listen, we take demons out of them and they go right back. Cause son, they're looking for a feeling. They're looking for me to feel good. Are you hearing me? And so today, God's gonna take the demons out of your emotions. You're trusting your emotions. Look at you. I tell people this all the time. Listen, don't trust your emotions. They're 99% wrong. And so in a prophet at church, that's very dangerous because now you're prophesying based off of your feeling for a person. The way that person looks, that I feel like they. You know how many people tell me that they felt like God says this? They even say God said it because I had a feeling that God wants me to be this. Did you hear from God? Yeah. God spoke to me. When I was praying, I had a little tingling in my neck. It was a feeling. Uh-oh. Twitch. Y'all know that. Oh. oh, that was a quickening. They call it the Holy oh, Spirit quickening. I felt it when I, when I prayed that, God, I felt a little twitch. When it was nothing but the air conditioner cutting on that. You got a little cold. God is not in the feeling. Look at, look at what Abraham had to endure. He said, listen, get, get up, take all your stuff and start walking with no destination. He didn't say, God, I didn't feel like it. I, listen, I got all these, I got 3,000 sheep I got to get together. I got all these. You never see in the Bible where they say, I don't feel like this, God. I don't feel. Are you hearing me? And so you see examples like Josh that didn't, and KC that didn't even, but yet it was immediate change because God spoke to them. Listen, and they let it penetrate the word of God, penetrated them. Are you hearing me? They penetrated them for change. Somebody gonna get delivered today. Somebody gonna get set free today. Are you hearing me? The feeling that we don't have a father. Oh my God, it's going today. The feeling that I got to do it by myself. The feeling that everybody lets me down. The feeling that nobody wants me. The feeling that, oh my God. And so you can see that as another example of having faith being based off of physical sense. Are you hearing me? We had one person tell us that uh, we had prophesied to a person, I think, I forgot. I forgot even the name of the person. I'm not going to even say the name anyway, but we had prophesied to a man and his wife. And they came to our church and heard us preach and heard me. I think I preached that day. I don't remember who was the preaching, preacher, honestly. But after we prophesied to them, their mouth was on the, on the ground. And they said in particular to one of our particular members that I thought they was, I thought that church was fake. You know why? Because I normally feel like when anointing a guy, when somebody real, I normally feel that they're real. <laughs> you remember that? I normally feel. I can, I can, it's a heavy anointing when I, I normally can feel. Can I tell you the truth? Uh, truth? 
This is the reason why false prophets can prophesy in your life because you're looking for a feeling. Right. That's right. That's right. This is the reason why you've been injured so much by people because you're looking for a feeling to see if this is right. Yeah. And God says, I never told you to go by your feelings, son. Yeah. Never told you to go by your feelings, daughter. But God, I thought that was right. I thought you spoke that to me. No, you felt. Mm -hmm. He was looking for a feeling that, that this was the one for you. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. I'm not saying feelings are all God gave us the feelings but this is where the enemy lies at in our feelings because it's a natural thing are you hearing me especially when they're false feelings the enemy is, is, is at work listen uh, I certainly believe in feelings uh, there's nothing wrong with feelings but this is the order that should go in write this down this is the order God says this is going in number one God's word comes first Number two, faith in God's word is second. Number three, your feelings are last. Are you hearing that? Your feelings are last. Last on the list. That's the last check one you should be on, my feelings. That's the last thing you should be having a source. But if you go through the first and the second, you shouldn't even get to your feelings. Are you hearing me? There shouldn't be room for your feelings if you, if you put that in the right order. Because you're going to have an answer. If you give God's word and you believe God's word, then I already got the answer. I don't have to go by my feelings. All right? Too many of us, though, this is the truth of the matter, we put our feelings up front, our faith in our feelings, and God's word lasts. That's the order that the church is in right now. Our feelings first are up front, our faith in our feelings. I just feel like this is going to betray me. I just feel like that person don't like me. Anybody walk in the room? Oftentimes I prophesy to people, God says, every time you go in the room, God says, the enemy tells you somebody don't like you. Anybody? That person don't like me. I just don't. Feeling. A feeling. But the truth that matters, if they smiled, that feeling would come back. The change. You would, oh, that person likes me. I was wrong. Many people always misdiagnose the prophet because they have a feeling that he don't like them. Are you hearing me? They have a feeling that, that he's mean. They have a feeling that it just looks like he unapproachable. Are you hearing me? I hear many people say, I thought the prophet didn't like me, but you know what? He's really, he really do like me. He, he didn't say to me, he didn't say nothing to me the first time I met him, then the second time he said something, but I had a feeling that he didn't like me. Who do you think gave you that feeling? <laughs> Who do you think that where do you think that feeling came from? God? Or the enemy? Are you seeing the enemy at work in your feelings? So too many of us take, listen, they take the feelings and put it up front, your belief in your feelings, and then the word of God is last. And God spoke this to me. Listen, write this down. People who do this will never be successful at anything. Because you're going to miss God every single time. If you put your feelings first and your belief in your feelings, 99% of the time your feelings are wrong. Thank you, Father. Let's lift our hands one more time. Y'all be in agreement, even as I prophesied to Tassie, that the enemy is going to come out of your feelings. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes. I speak even now that healing takes place yes. through the Spirit. Yes, For Lakay and Tassie. Yes. I speak that you should come out of their feelings with false feelings, false letdown, false betrayals, false. I command you to come out of their emotions even now. Thank you for your victory. Thank you, God. You see, it's okay to it's okay to mourn. But your feelings will get out of control. Are you hearing me? Thank you, Father. And so again, as I'm praying on the ground, I say, God, I haven't heard from you in a couple of days, God. Ever since this happened to so-and-so, God, ever since, God, I haven't heard from you. And I hear a still, small voice say, son, I'm not in your feelings. You're looking for me to be in your feelings. Son. I'm not. You're looking for me to agree with your feelings. Are you hearing me? And I would never agree with anything that's not truth. Because I said you're the head and you're not the tail. Are you hearing me? 
I said you got victory over the enemy and our word will not revert to return to me void. But it shall accomplish that what I said. It shall prosper the very thing into which I sent it. It shall not return to me void. Hallelujah. Are you hearing me? As the water comes from the earth and returns, it shall not. Thank you, Jesus. As surely as it rains, as sure as I said, the snow shall not cease. As long as the earth remains, it shall be winter, summer, earth, rain, it shall come. Thank you, Lord. My word shall not return to me void. Thank you, Father. Are you hear me? Yes, God. Thank you, Father. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes. And so I do understand that we walk in the natural. I do understand that. And that's where the, the mistake comes in that because we think we can process God in the natural. And God never told us to use our natural senses. I hear me. Too many of us are trying to believe God with our physical strength, our physical truths, physical natural faiths. And so what happens is if your physical senses tell you it's not so, you believe it's not so. If your physical sense tell you it is so, you believe it's so. Are you hearing me? Can I tell you both of them are wrong? See, when your physical, physical how many times you, you, we've been in a relationship and you said your physical sense told you this was it, this is the soulmate? Probably about 15, 20 times by that, y'all. Most of us have been through. Three months later, your feelings is giving you another feeling. Hey, this is the one. When God says, let me process you first, sons. Let me take the lust out of you first, son. Let me let you stop depending on your feelings first. So that when I send you the right mate, you'll be able to keep her. So when I send you the right man, you'll be able to keep him. Because your feelings from the last one is still there. Are you hearing me? Your feelings and the hurt from the last pain is still there. I got to have it come out of your emotions. Look at your neighbor and say, it's coming out of your emotions today. Thank you, Father. You see, marriage is not, not a joke. Mm -hmm. Do you know for years, listen, for years I carried my feelings for what happened to my life in my, my first marriage. I had a feeling of betrayal. And guess what she got? She didn't get the real apostle, Deron. She got a hurt one, she got a painful one, one that had a feeling that she was gonna betray me, a feeling that, that I was gonna end up like this again, a feeling so I gotta protect myself. Keep that from ever happening to me again. It's only God that can take away your false feelings. Are you hearing me? Listen, here's the truth. Our physical, listen, our physical senses have nothing to do with God and nothing to do with the Bible. God's word is true whether we feel it or not. Are you hearing me? And so I've had to find myself even now saying, listen, God, I'm going to worship you whether I feel like it or not. And do you know when I call that demon out of my emotions of grief, Guess what? My feelings for God came back. Listen, my feelings that I was an apostle again came back to me. Are you hearing me? My feelings that I was called to the Lord came back. Are you hearing me? Thank you, Lord. My feelings that no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Glory, Jesus. Are you hearing me? So what are you replacing all the attacks of the enemy with? Your feelings? It's not going to work. You got to have the word of God inside of you. Because your feelings would drown out the word of God. Are you hearing me? Yes. Until then, I wasn't hearing the word of God. I wasn't hearing the scriptures coming up. Listen, I got plenty of scripture inside of me. I memorized. Because I had let my feelings overshadow the spirit man. Are you hearing me? But as soon as the spirit man busted out of that hole, I began to hear the word of God again. Are you hearing me? Because I'm not found in your feelings, daughter. I'm not found in your feelings. God says, I sympathize with what happened to you. Listen, your feelings have got you in trouble. Some of the worst decisions I've ever made was because of a feeling I had. Are you hearing me? A feeling that I was going to have to do this. So I've lost so much money because of a feeling that, 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 that I, I'm, I'm, nobody else is going to buy this, so I, I just give it away for this. I had a feeling that no patience. Are you hearing me? Oh, God. Y'all believe God is in this place today? The prophetic cannot breed. I call this sense, uh, central soldiers. That's what we call. Write that down. Central soldiers. I'm looking for my senses. God, the prophetic cannot breed that. Are you hearing me? 
central soldiers. It's amazing to me, even as Apostle Clyde was mentioning, uh, anybody been in the army, in the military here? Nobody? But if you go to the military, those who have been to it, they, they have you go through basic training. Why? To take away your feelings that you can't do something. Are you hearing me? Yeah. They take away your feelings that you can't. And they tell you to de depend on only, the only thing, that, as a matter of fact, they don't allow you to go home until you're trained because your feelings are attached at home. I take away the feelings away from you. I'm taking away the, until you're trained that you can only depend on what I trained you with. Are you hearing me? Yes. And so even though I'm scared and I, and I see war, guess what comes up in me? My training comes up inside of me. Do you know they teach soldiers that for every bite of food, you have to chew 21 times? Did you know that? They don't just deal with that. They deal with the whole man. Listen, every bite of food you put, chew 21 times before you swallow it. That makes you digest faster. It doesn't make you a heavy soldier. It doesn't make you. Uh, I'm guilty of that. Listen, I'll, one bite, it's, it's going down. It's going down the hatch. I, I inhale my food. <laughs> inhale it. But they teach, listen to that, they, they teach to every bit of the soldier, and listen, they go in with a willing heart that says, listen, this is what it requires for you to change your mindset. The change that you don't feel like you're a good soldier to believing that you're a soldier. You know what that problem is? See, we want the same thing in the kingdom of God, but we don't want to change. Right. You know, God has, if, if the man has requirements, do you know God wants some requirements for you to change? So God, look, look at your name and say, God's putting you in boot camp. God's putting you in boot camp. So you can remove those things that make you believe that you can't do it. Are you hearing me? So soldiers are reprogrammed. Are you hearing me? God has to reprogram us. Why? We're so used to the world's ways of fear. So used to the world's ways of. You got Christian people saying that. Be careful out there. That, oh my God, they, they attach souls. Aren't you supposed to be a Christian? Oh yeah. You're right. I am supposed to be believing that. Are you hearing me? It shows me what you really trust in. You trust in me, myself, and I in the news station. I don't even watch the news, y'all know that? Very rarely, I probably watched the news station out of the last 10 years, five, six, seven times, maybe. That's it, I don't even watch the news. Do you, do you, do you feel how heavy you get when you start watching stuff? In your spirit, I just get heavy. So-and-so got raped. So and so, this got happened. This this person got robbed, got shot five times. This person, all of a sudden, your spirit is just affected. That's right. Yeah. All of a sudden, you're going to lock the door a little more. Right. All of a sudden, you're thinking about carrying your gun, just in case God can't protect me. What makes them different? God didn't protect them. I'll tell you what makes you different. That I know the tension will fall on my side, a thousand by my right hand. God, you said this will not come near me. You said evil will not befall me, Father. You said no plague can touch my... Are you hearing me? Yes, Lord. It's what's inside of you. If you don't have it inside of you, you have feelings. That's all you have is feelings. Yes. Your feelings are going to lead you wrong. Yes, Thank you, Father. Let me show you what that leads to. And we're almost done. What time is it? We're doing good. But we're going to leave some room to destroy the enemy. Are you hearing me? And then y'all can go home and wash your hands all you want. <laughs> all right. Some of y'all gonna bathe up in the germ stuff. Just put, put it in a whole tub. Just dip my whole body in it. Thank you, Father. Some of us need to be more cleansy anyway. Haven't cleaned our house in months. Now we clean it up. Listen, this, this is what this breeze God says. Listen. All of our weaknesses turns into strengths when God allows, is allowed to pro pre-program. So he's taking our weaknesses. But um, since central soldiers glide through life, are you hearing me? They glide through life on their feelings. Um, if they feel like praying, they might. Are you hearing me? If they feel like reading the word, they might. If they feel like obeying, they might. If they feel like fellowship, then they may come to church. Uh -oh. If they feel like fighting back, they might. If they feel like fighting the enemy, huh? I might. Uh, we have all, listen, we have so many blatant 
examples of this in the church. Even with Christians, are you hearing me? And I don't even like using the word Christian, I don't. Because that's a made up term, Christian. I understand it's, it's accepted as, as, as a social thing, that's fine. I, I, I can be called a Christian. But I serve the living God, that's what I say. So I don't go by titles of Christian and first Mormon of the third Baptist church of the, listen, all that means nothing. Where's the power of God at? Are you hearing me? It means nothing. Because you know what, I'm embarrassed that most people call themselves Christians. I really am. I'm really embarrassed that you don't believe that God can, can save you. I'm really embarrassed that you don't believe that the power God says you have, you have. I'm really embarrassed to even call myself a Christian because there's so many people showing who they really serve. And so we have so many blatant examples of this. We have, listen, we heard so-called believers defending. Anybody had a, what you call a Christian start de defending sinful activities? This is people in the church. Listen, this is real life. They, I mean, they defend. Are you hearing me? Sinful acts. There, there was a popular, I'm not going to mention the name, but it was a popular Christian book writer. Started off good, started writing. Nice Christian books. Everybody got a little following behind them. Uh, they took the, the book and actually turned it into a movie. But when they, when they did the movie, listen, it was nothing biblical in the movie. Are you hearing me? Nothing biblical in the movie. And they asked Christian women, a group of Christian women, to, to rate the movie. And they begin to rate the movie. If you read their responses, they said nothing about God. They said it made me feel good. That touched my heart. That really touched me. And so I give it 10 stars because it touched me. But this is supposed to be a biblical movie. So where's, it was no, it was like their brains just shut off. Are you hearing me? Because they put me in front of the screen and it made me feel good. And so now I have no reasoning to say. See, these type of Christians that, uh, that, that, that these are the type of the Christians that, um, uh, and I don't have anything wrong, wrong with, uh, you know, against homosexuality other than it's wrong. Now you hear me? We pray for anybody that's going through it. But these are the type of Christians that I have a homosexual come up to them and say, you know what, I, we're just in love. I just want to be just like you. I want to love God loves me too. So, so we, we, want to, we want to be able to get married too. And they'll take their side and begin to start asking the laws to be changed. These are Christians doing this. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? Do you know we're fooled by feelings for people? Uh, these women was absolutely gushing over this movie, but it said nothing about God. No biblical references, no nothing, but it's supposed to be, but it made them feel good. Anybody that saw a movie that made you feel good? Everything said about the movie was on an emotional level. That's it. Emotional. It made me feel good. That's it. Uh, and because it made them feel good, it made the, uh, the movie a real winner in their eyes. Are you hearing me? Viewing everything else through what I call the cloudy, cloudy lens of emotions. And so it shuts off their biblical discernment. Can I tell you something? Feelings shut off biblical discernment. Yeah. And it shut it off. And it'll actually make you feel like you're hearing from God, but you're talking to your feelings. Your feelings are talking to you. Are you hearing me? And so that's a danger in it. I feel like everybody should be able to, to, to love whoever they want. I do too. But God's word says, Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. Are you hearing me? And so while I, I'm gonna love you, I have to disagree with you. Are you hearing me? Now let me cast a demon out of you that's causing you to believe this way. Are you hearing me? Because if you talk to most of them, they have a story that I've been molested, I've been taken advantage of, my father didn't accept me, my father really, really wanted me to be a girl, and he rejected me. And so I started acting like a female to try to be with my father. Are you hearing me? Most of them got a history behind it. 99% of them. All right? Uh, you look at people who, uh, gender, gender confused. Most of those, if you go back and look at their parents, most of them wanted a boy or child or girl so bad that they rejected the child in the womb, and they found out they had a girl or whatever. And the child came out saying, I'm both. I just feel like I'm supposed to be a girl, but I'm both, I'm confused. That came from the rejection of the parents. Are you hearing me? And so if you evaluate everything you learn in terms about how you feel, you're gonna, listen, you're gonna be in some trouble. Are you hearing me? 
This, this really fools a lot of people because, you know, you have people come to church and say, hey, what? I'm Muslim. We serve the same God. Uh, we worship the same God. Can I read from the Quran? It says we serve the same God. I believe in the same God. And, you know, most Christians, I just, you know what? That's, that's just being God-like. Go ahead and let them do it. The Quran is not the Bible. Are you hearing me? Quran or whatever they call it. That's not the Bible. But because this person gave them a good feeling. Are you hearing me? They'll allow it. This is how compromising it becomes in the church. Um, I can remember one, one of my sons that, that was dealing with a bad, listen, I'm not, not going to say a bad, bad boss, but had a, listen, boss was treating him like crap, straight up. And I'm saying, this is the test, son. This is the test. God going to promote you. First time he had been written up and everything else. And he says, man, I can't wait to get out of here. I said, listen, God's getting ready to promote you. Out of it. Just pray for him. This is going on with him. I begin to tell him what's going on with him. This is going on with him. This is going on with him. And he really hates that you got promoted so fast. And so he began to put in, uh, 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 he got a job offer right, right afterwards. And after the job offer, I had told him that, I said, listen, he really feels like, like you can take his job. This guy began to start showing him. And I said, he's going to show you that he values you. And I knew this was going to happen. I said, he's going to show you that he's going to try to value you once you get ready to leave. And sure enough, new position came up. And all of a sudden, the guy pulls him to the side and says, you know what, man? I know, I know things ain't been real good, but you know what? I, I, I want to make this right, man. I want to talk to you, man. I want to I wanna, I wanna get along together, man. I want to do this. Wanna... Because he saw his help leading. Are you hearing me? He saw that, 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 the, that the anointing that was on this man's life was prospering the company. And so now he begins to... And guess what? Good feelings begin to come over. And the same person that said, I can't wait to leave, not even a day later, you know what? I was talking to him, and man, he, you know, and he's right. I said, listen to you. You're going by feelings that this guy just gave you. There's still evil in this man. Are you hearing me? But because he talked to you nicely one day, he treated you like crap for six months, and he talked to you nice one day, your feelings changed that fast. God says, move on. Are you hearing me? Move on. Look at your neighbor and say, move on. But do you see how your feelings can be manipulated that fast? Your feelings can be manipulated that fast that you forgot six months of pain for one day of joy. Oh my God, y'all better catch this. Y'all better catch this. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God. And so, you guys can stand to your feet. A Christian mind... And biblical discernment has been replaced with our emotions, our feelings now. Are you hear me? Replaced with our feelings, how we feel about our father, how we feel about this person, how we feel what I went through. And you know what? God says if you use your feelings, you're going to automatically begin to question why you have to go through this. And you're going to begin to start trying to now throw up all the things you did right. You see, our feelings will try to tell us all the things we did right, but you always remember how you let God down. You don't you remember that, isn't it? You don't remember how many times God told you don't do that and you did it. And he spared your life. You don't remember that. You only remember that I paid my tithes for the last 10 months, God. I, but I paid my tithes for the last 10 months. Why would you let this happen to me? What about the pornography? You failed at every single mm. month since the inside. What about this? But I'm not a God that's going to punish you because of that. But because of your feelings, you won't understand. Are you hearing me? Uh, Y'all better get something out of this today. Uh, I'm going to say how truth be told. And God gave me. And it's truth be told, number one. Love is not a feeling. And this is kind of hard for me to, to, to actually process it. First. Love is not a feeling. It's an action. Did y'all know that? See, we've been programmed that love is a feeling, right? I feel like I love her. Right? You see, I can remember when my, when, my, when my ex-wife cheated on me. You know what I did? Try to get a replacement right away. So I can take the pain out. I want, I want this feeling to go away. You know, within one week, I was saying, I love her. I, yeah, I love you too. Because I wanted the feeling of betrayal to go away from this one. But I did not love her. But my 
feelings felt like I did. Are you hearing me? It wasn't until the man of God laid hands on me and broke that soul tie off my life, sexual soul tie, that I began to look at and see who this person really was. It was like I was so blinded. Anybody see the Shadow How movie? Oh my God. My eyes, listen, it was, this girl's crazy. Yet, my, my feelings wanted to get away from this bad feeling and go into a good feeling, so I made the worst, one of the worst mistakes I ever made in my life. Are you hearing me? And this is one of the ones I told you guys where I ended up having an abortion. All right? One of the worst mistakes that I just wanted a feeling. I listen now, now I gotta fix the feeling, fix the mistake that I made. I gotta, at all costs, God, I gotta get this off of me. Are you hearing me? Mm -hmm. Thank you, Father. Because I just failed at this marriage. I don't wanna fail right now. I'm gonna have another baby over here. God, I'm gonna have, I don't want that feeling, God. I don't want that. Are you hearing me? And God spoke this to me so clearly. Remember, 99% of the time your feelings are false. But God spoke this. What right do you have to set up your false feelings against the truth of Christ? Oh my God. Those rough questions that, that, that Pastor Kevin was just saying. What right do you have to set up your false emotions against my truth, son? I am the truth, the way, and the and you dare approach me with false emotions, false feelings that you feel like. You see, my son didn't feel like going to the cross, but he did. Are you hearing me? He didn't feel like dying for you, but he did. He said, yeah, yeah, Father, listen, not my will, but your will be done, God. God, at all costs, can you let this cup pass from me? That shows you that Jesus didn't feel like dying. He didn't want to die. Are you hearing me? Thank you, Father. Yes, Lord. Thank you, God. Last scripture that I'm going to read, and we're going to end. And God told me this. He says, I never told you to set your minds on the things on this earth. Okay. Colossians 3 and 2. Set your minds on things above and not on the things of the earth. Yes. I told you that for a reason. Yes. Because your feelings are attached to the things of the earth. Are you hearing me? Put your focus on all that is good. Because that comes from God. Everything that's perfect comes from me. Are you hearing me? You're trying to talk to, 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 to a perfect God, a true God with false feelings. And you're expecting me to talk back. I can't, my, my spirit doesn't respond to natural falseness. Are you hearing me? It doesn't respond to feelings. It doesn't respond. It only responds to the word of God. Are you hearing me? It only responds to my truth, son, the truth that I spoke. And I said, you're the head and not the tail. I said that I've given you authority over demons. I said you could step on serpents and you should not be hurt. I hear you. I said, no, no evil shall befall you. And as, you, as, a, as a word begins to come, and guess what? My spirit man begins to get strengthened. And my natural man even begin to get strengthened. Are you hearing me? I begin to shake off this funk. Get off me. Are you hearing me? And when I refuse to be in this 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 mode again, are you hearing me? Thank you, Father. As they minister. Thank you, Father.